Hey, what's up growers? Today we're going to be covering the difference between extreme light and extreme darkness. Forget everything you thought you knew about plant care. We're breaking all the rules in this one. Extreme darkness versus blinding light. What really happens when a plant faces absolute darkness or nonstop light? Which one handles stress better? And what can we learn about plant resilience and the importance of balance from these two extremes? This isn't about opinion or tradition. It's about uncovering the biological truth behind light and darkness, the forces that define every plant's rhythm, survival, and growth. Light and darkness aren't just visual, they're biological. Plants evolved under predictable day-night cycles. During light hours, photosynthesis powers growth. During darkness, respiration restores balance and repairs damage. When either side of that cycle is removed, the system falls apart. Too little light means starvation. Too much light means burnout. Both extremes expose how dependent plants are on rhythm, not just the presence of light, but the timing of it. In total darkness, plants face an immediate crisis. Without light, photosynthesis stops. No new energy, no new sugars. The plant must rely entirely on stored carbohydrates from its tissues just to stay alive. This triggers a cascade of survival responses, stems elongate as the plant searches for light, a process called etiolation. Leaves turn pale as chlorophyll breaks down and energy reserves begin to drain rapidly. Over time, cell structure weakens, respiration overtakes photosynthesis, and internal systems shut down. What's left is a fragile, pale version of what once thrived. Alive, but barely functional. Darkness doesn't kill instantly. It starves slowly. On the other end, light, the very thing plants depend on, can also destroy them. In continuous light, there's no downtime. Photosynthesis runs non-stop, but the plant's internal processes can't keep up. The result is photoinhibition when chloroplasts become overloaded and start to degrade. Leaves begin curling to reduce exposure, edges crisp and brown, and pigments bleach as chlorophyll molecules literally burn out. Water demand spikes, respiration can't balance oxygen buildup, and energy systems turn toxic. Essentially, the plant drowns in light, overwhelmed by the very process that gives it life. And I just really fast, guys, I wanted to thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoy the content. Make sure to leave a like if you do. If you want access to these videos as soon as I complete them, make sure to become a member of the growing community for only 99 cents a month. It goes a long way and really supports the channel. Just click that join button below. Both darkness and light extremes reveal how plants walk a biological tightrope. In darkness, metabolism slows to survive, but it can't last. In light, metabolism accelerates past control, burning energy faster than it can repair. Both end in failure, but for different reasons. Darkness causes energy depletion, while continuous light causes energy overload. The key takeaway? Plants don't need more light. They need timing. Their internal clocks, known as circadian rhythms, regulate when genes activate for growth and repair. Remove that rhythm and everything, from nutrient uptake to hormone balance, starts to break down. Studies across multiple species, on from lettuce to cannabis, show that plants grown under balanced light cycles outperform both 24-hour and short-day conditions. During light hours, they build energy and structure. During dark hours, they process that energy into biomass and new cell growth. That dark phase isn't wasted time. It's when plants manage hormones, redistribute nutrients, and repair light-induced damage. In short, darkness is as critical as light. It's not the enemy, it's half the system. When it comes to light and darkness, there's no real winner. 
only balance. Both extremes reveal what plants truly need, structure, timing, and moderation. Too much of anything, even light, becomes stress. Too little and growth stops completely. So the next time you're adjusting your light schedule, remember, plants don't thrive on extremes. They thrive on rhythm. If this helped you understand the science behind plant rhythm and recovery, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into plant physiology. Because the secret to better growing isn't more, it's smarter. And when it comes to light and darkness, balance isn't optional, it's survival. Well, that concludes for today's video, guys. Of course, again, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.